resources, you're going to find a link where you can explore the concepts from this video a little bit further. And I'd really advise you to take a look at the resources that are provided. Not all blockchains are created equal and each one is trying to be the fastest, the easiest to scale and the most decentralized. But there's a trade off between these three and this is known as the scalability trilemma. Solana is taking a unique approach in trying to solve this. Solana is known for its speed and how many transactions it can process. To do this, Solana combines several key features. For consensus, Solana uses a combination of proof of stake and proof of history. Proof of stake is used to select validators. The more a validator stakes, the more skin they have in the game, the more they could lose. So it's inherent that they're trusted more. If they act badly, their stake can be slashed. Once a validator is selected, it has five seconds to work through what's known as the verifiable delay function or the VDF. This VDF is basically how proof of history works and attracts time, issuing a timestamp, ignoring a local computer's time. Proof of history lets users create a historical record that works as proof that an event took place at a certain moment of time. This removes the bottleneck of proof of work and proof of stake nodes are not waiting on other nodes to confirm a time. As a result, blocks can be produced faster. We're going to use Solana as our Web3 platform in this course for our demonstrations and for our examples. 